hello welcome to my channel it's oin cakes back at it again with another topic that nobody asks for but i'm gonna be talking about it anyways so in this video i kind of want to reference this tweet that i saw on twitter that is literally going to be the main reason as to why i decided to make this video and speak up about the truth i'm gonna pull up the tweet on my phone and read it and also put it here on the screen so you guys can see or read along with me the tweet goes like this a lot of y'all don't like how 4c hair looks naturally that's why you're always pushing for people to drench their hair in moisturizer that's why i have a lot of beef with this current natural hair movement i saw this tweet i felt like it really resonated with me because it made me sit back and actually think about why i have a strong bias against my natural hair the honest truth is that i don't really like my natural hair in its natural state or even post styling phase which has caused me to be very neglectful and carefree about the health of my hair my opinion it's very exhausting to engage in a 10 step routine every two weeks or every week just to manipulate it to look appeasing to society because we all know that society does not want to see my hair in its absolute natural state in light of the natural hair movement majority of the hair textures and cr um, content creators dominating that movement were mostly 3a 3b 3c 4a 4b i hardly ever saw people that had kinky what they would consider nappy hair like i did so i would find myself consuming and buying the products that they recommended for my hair to look like theirs or for like the end results to look like theirs only to be disappointed when i take out my hair from whatever style i put it in to see white gel flakes in my hair and now i'm sad and disappointed because the end result they had was not the end result that i had and then i find myself questioning what did i do wrong because i know i followed every single thing that they did and they said that i should do but the results never gave what it was supposed to give only recently had this revelation and realization that my hair would never give the end results that they had because we did not have the same hair textures so like there was no amount of manipulating and styling and putting gel and moisturizer and products in my hair that could ever give me the end result that i was looking for because my hair texture did not look like theirs i also don't have the luxury of like full hair thick hair long hair or like hair that people would marvel at and be jealous of i have very fine thin hair that you know is not really seen that much in the media i remember one day i wore my hair shrunken in an afro like state i'm gonna put the picture here to school and i literally got called names i got laughed at i got mocked and i even had people say that i looked like a boy for wearing my natural hair in its natural state i'm not gonna lie i don't think i really cared that much but subconsciously i found myself spending more and more time trying to manipulate my hair trying to style my hair trying to make it look appeasing to society so that even if it's you know in its natural state it still looks good to people you know i had my mom always mad at me for spending countless hours in the bathroom with the light on trying to style my hair trying to do my hair differently just so i can feel confident enough to actually walk out the door and feel like i was beautiful with my natural hair due to not having enough representation in the media or on youtube and social media i found myself having to navigate understanding my hair texture by myself and i feel like up until now i still do not know how to properly take care of it and it's very exhausting to me so i've just gotten to a point where i have literally given up on taking care of my hair let's not also forget the fact that most black men do not like our hair in its natural state they will call us nappy headed they will 
mention and marvel at how unattractive our hair looks like because it's not like the looser hair texture that they all low-key want their black women to have but we cannot have that except if we're mixed or maybe like you're just lucky that that is just the hair texture that you have i sometimes feel like when i wear my natural hair out in the midst of black people in the midst of black men and black women i find myself very invincible to black men they never really notice me or even pay attention to me when i have my hair in its natural state when i have a wig on or i do my hair in a different way that is when I actually get recognition from them. I also find that like having to slick edges down and having to do all these manipulative things to make our hair look appeasing is kind of rooted in texturism because natural hair is not supposed to be laid down and slicked down. Like that's why it's kinky, it's thick for a reason. It's supposed to look you know not as polished as what people in society would expect of our hair to look like i also feel like a lot of black women are in, in are in denial about the biases they have about their own hair which is why a lot of black women are the ones who purchase wigs are the ones who wear all these weaves and you know looser hair textures just because they don't necessarily feel that good about how they look to society with their natural hair and i know people are going to be like oh i don't do my hair for men i wear wigs for protective styling yes that can be true but the former is also true as well it's like you have to really dig deep and understand if you actually have a bias against your own hair because if you didn't have a bias against your own hair you would be wearing kinky like hair textures you'll be wearing afro like hair textures you know you would be wearing something that looks like your natural hair even if it's not your natural hair but rather you are you guys want to wear the brazilian you want to wear the the curly you want to wear the cambodian you want to wear the vietnamese why have you ever wondered why because I'm wondering why. But I feel like this is just a little spill about why I feel like black women hate their natural hair. And also why I don't like my natural hair. If this video resonates with you or you can relate to this video, please subscribe. Because I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. And like and comment. Thank you for watching. If you don't like, it's okay. I don't really care. I'm going to keep creating content anyways thank you for watching and see you in the next video